Good afternoon. <laughs> Today, we've got a special <laughs> surprise for you. What's that? What? It already says it in the description in the title. <laughs> yeah. It's not a surprise. It's a surprise for you, buddy. You buddy. don't know. Ooh, it's yeah. a surprise. <laughs> So. Oh, also, fun throwback. Jackson <laughs> loves Harry Scoots now. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> today we are headed out to Vero Beach, Disney's Vero Beach Resort. So, you have been, you went to go see them like releasing the turtles. Yeah. I think that was like maybe two years ago or last year. Yeah, it was a while ago, and I've stayed there when I was younger. But I have never been there. Okay. And Jackson's never been there. Jackson's never been there. I'm very excited. <laughs> we're, we're very excited to have our very first trip to Disney's Bureau Beach, huh, bud? Yeah. And I'm even more excited because we um, rented one of the beach cottages. Yeah. So we're going to have like really great views of the actual, like of the ocean. We're going to be right on the ocean. So we had a friend who, with all the travel restrictions that are going on right now, couldn't use their DVC points. So we bought the DVC points off of them and we use them for a, a beach cottage at Disney's Vero Beach. Yes, it looks, I've seen the pictures online. I haven't watched any videos, but I have looked at like Disney's pictures like of their gallery pictures of it. It looks like it's gonna be so nice. Those are my ears, buddy. I'm, a, I'm very excited to head down there. I'm also excited to see like what is open, what's available, what the procedures are now. So something that I was reading is that they do have character dining. However, it is not open currently right. um, at like this moment in time. Hopefully it'll be opening back up soon and people will be able to character dine out there because that was something I was really looking forward to. But they have a really amazing pool. They have mini golf. There's lots of stuff to do around the resort. So yeah. should we get on the road? Let's do it. Yeah. Disney's Vero Beach Resort opened on October 1st, 1995. This resort is about two hours southeast of Walt Disney World and is located on Florida's scenic Atlantic Treasure Coast. Also, a large population of sea turtles use Vero Beach as their nesting grounds, so we will see lots of nods to sea turtles in the theme of the resort as well as the rooms. What are you so excited about? They have electric vehicle parking. Yay! And I didn't know that they did. That's exciting. So that means that I can charge it today. We won't have to stop on the way home. And we won't have to stop on the way home. All right, nice work. We did it, everybody. <laughs> we did do it. So we are headed back to Cottage 1550. Ooh, I already see a huge hammock. Oh yeah, good times. <laughs> this is very lush. I feel like we should have brought our travel oh, hammock. Man. To oh, put yeah. on the on the patio. There's a sunrise and a sunset patio. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh, I love that. So this is a DVC resort. So the rooms are very similar to other DVC rooms that we've showed you before. They have one bedroom, they have studios, they have two bedroom, but this is one of the buildings that those DVC rooms are in. And we're also right on the beach. Like I can hear the ocean right now. Yes. So the pool and the beach access is to the left. But we're going over to the right. I believe to right there. I think that roof right there is us. There's your hammock, Jen. It's pretty close to our place. It is. Literally right there. Oh, each building, each cottage has a different name. So the one up in front of us is the Olive Ridley Cottage. And this is the Hawksbill Cottage. Is this one ours? This one's ours. Oh. So this is the sunset balcony up here. This is where we're going to. Oh yeah. Buddy, you love steps. You're doing good. These are big ones too. Yeah, they are. Oh, hard time. Be careful. Yeah, porch swing. So now are any of these accessible? Uh, I think there's one accessible one way down at the other end. Oh, okay. Or maybe two accessible ones. All right, let's head inside. How do I... Oh, I didn't even notice the little Mickey guy right there. I like this. This is just like we're in a house now. Yeah. This actually feels like we're in the lobby of a hotel, doesn't it? Oh, this is weird. Yeah, where's the living room? I think it's upstairs. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right, so let's have a look around our cabin at Vero Beach. 
like we said out on the front porch there is a, a porch swing and a couple of rocking chairs and then we go inside and right away to the left is the stairs and that leads upstairs of course but downstairs there are three bedrooms and three bathrooms so we'll head to the right first there is a full laundry room in here washer and dryer and a little folding table so you can fold clothes on it and a little laundry basket too then we head into this first bedroom has two full-size beds in it so this will sleep four people in here then we've got some storage here of course usbs right there you know i love my usbs some nice turtle artwork individual lights for each bed and then this knob here controls the ceiling fan so the rooms do have ceiling fans in them and each room has access to the back patio downstairs nice full-size mirror i think this is some more storage over here let's see if this opens up how does this is this a drawer oh yeah little drawers over here some more drawers underneath the tv with of course more usbs and plugs kind of a lot of plugs over on this wall you got two there two here two here two there a lot of plugs a lot of places to plug stuff in in here and then we head into the bathroom i love the look of this vanity it's so beachy a little makeup mirror light up makeup mirror behind me here is closet with hangers some more storage a uh, luggage uh, what do you call that like a luggage thing that you put your luggage on for taking all your stuff out of your luggage and then over here is the commode I like the little hidden Mickey right there I don't know what you're supposed to put up here maybe I don't know extra shampoo and stuff the shampoo and conditioner and body wash is all mounted to the wall this is a tub it's a little shallow tub so this will be perfect for giving Jackson a bath it also has a clothesline in here for drying off your clothes this shower head looks very nice some more towels behind the door all right let's head over to one of the other bedrooms so you can see this is the front entrance again and then we're turning right this I believe is the main bedroom because I think it's the biggest bedroom and it has the biggest bathroom king size bed it's got some plugs and USBs this one's kind of hard to see because it's behind the lamp next to the bed what are you doing camera there you go as well as some storage next to the bed and oh there's no storage underneath the bed I thought maybe there was but that platform is solid there's a chair over here with a little table and an orchid on it I think this is a, a real orchid that's a that's a that's a real orchid in here real plants inside of your Disney room wow TV more storage more USBs and more plugs full-size mirror hello access out onto the back patio which we're going to look at the back patio after the last bedroom one thing that i noticed that i thought was really weird is that they give you these it's like a carafe that you would fill with water or whatever and then it comes with a cup on top of it for you to have water on your bedside table this room also has like a, a bay window here i love the artwork too all about turtles because of course it is turtle season here and they do an event here at Disney's Vero Beach called Tour de Turtles and I've been to it and I'll put a link to that in the description down below but basically you come during turtle hatching season and you can see the turtles going back out into the water because of COVID they're not doing as many turtle activities normally they would do like a midnight turtle walk where you would go out and you would see the turtles coming up and like laying their eggs and things like that but we're not they're not doing that right now I might still try to go out at night see if I can find any turtles and we're heading into the main bathroom some more turtle artwork look at this tub 
I like the way that looks. Also, there's a scale here. Why not? Uh, there is a closet behind me with extra pillow and blanket. I didn't notice that there was a pullout downstairs. There might be one upstairs. There's a safe in here and lots of hangers and of course another one of those luggage racks. Head into this bathroom over here. Single vanity, a walk-in shower, pretty good size too, with a seat in it. And again, the body wash, shampoo, and conditioner are mounted to the wall. Shower head looks like it's gonna be very nice. Excellent placement of the shower or of the towel hook. I like these lights too. They have like ropes wrapped around them. Let's see what we have in here. I believe this is the commode. Yep. I didn't turn on the light in here. There it is. So there's the commode, your own little private room. Oh my goodness. The toilet paper has a little sea turtle stamp on it. That's a nice little Disney touch right there. All right, let's head upstairs. Oh no, we got one more room down here. Quick question for anybody that's an electrician. Why do they mount some outlets upside down? Like I know this is a 20 amp outlet. Is that why it's mounted upside down? Also, those are tamper resistant. So if you come here with your kids, you don't need to worry about bringing like uh, outlet covers because they are you can't stick anything in there. You can only stick two things in, like a plug at the same time. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but the holes are blocked off on the inside. I'm gonna check and see if that's all the outlets or just that one. There's a thermostat in here. It is still motion censored. So, you guys know I don't really like the motion sensors on the thermostats. Oh, also, there's a ceiling fan in here as well. Oh, another thing is, as soon as you walk in, they do provide an umbrella, just in case. So we're walking past the stairs, some more artwork on the walls over here, a pier and a lifeguard stand, a little bench here for uh, putting on shoes maybe. Don't know what this basket's for. We were guessing maybe your towels from the beach or your shoes, not 100% sure little area underneath the stairs that I think kids would have a blast kind of like hanging out in like maybe like looking out the window just kind of like playing in this area there's also some under stairs storage that you could store like we would store a stroller in here we've got our diaper bag in there right now there is a bar for hanging stuff in here so maybe like coats although it's not cold outside right now this bathroom is attached to this bedroom but it's also accessible from the hallway. So this would be like the downstairs bathroom. Uh, air conditioner behind this door. Pretty good size room. It's about the same size as the one on the other side. Again, two full size beds, TVs or a TV, USBs, plugs everywhere. Full size mirror, access to the back patio. This one's kind of seashell themed as far as the artwork goes. And I really like the headboards in this room too. Oh look, the like detail on the sheets is bubbles. This one only has one nightstand with a USB in it, which is the same as the other one on the other side of the first floor. Some more storage over here. Same type of thing, like a, a foot locker, basically. And then there is an attached bathroom. We walk in, another closet, plenty of hangar space, another luggage tray. Uh, the doorway that accesses out into the hallway. A vanity. Tim, hello makeup mirror this same thing that I said I think this is a hidden Mickey so this bathroom oh, also has a tub in it too so that's two tubs oh look the shower curtain has like a turtle 
detail, like a turtle shell detail on it. Let's see if this one works. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe not everybody knows that this is a clothesline that you can put across your shower to hang up bathing, suit, bathing suits and things like that. The only thing that I thought was kind of silly about this bathroom is this window right here. Just kind of looks out. It's a non-frosted window that looks out on the main pathway uh -huh. of the resort. You can see there's another building right across the way, full of rooms. All right, so let's head upstairs now. Another full-size mirror. Hello. All right, so now we are headed upstairs and these stairs are nice because they're kind of wider and shorter. So they're very easy to go up. Oh, we have some more turtle art. This one says it's a loggerhead sea turtle and there's a green turtle. And upstairs is the main living area which is phenomenal. Like, I love this. Little like breakfast table here, dining table over there, couch, big TV. And I'm, I gotta check and make sure that, see if this is a pullout couch. Oh, they give you like a little blanket. That's unusual. Let's see. Yep, pullout couch. So there's two more that could sleep up here. So right now we're at a total of two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12 people that can sleep in this cottage. I wanna show you the size of this TV, very large. A DVD player because you can rent DVDs from the front lobby. A big stereo, so it's like a party stereo. Has a CD player in it, some speakers. Get like a party going on, some nice music, some great tunes. Uh, another ceiling fan up here over top of the couch that is also a pullout. There is a balcony on the front and on the back. Vaulted ceilings. This place feels huge upstairs. Bar seating leading into the kitchen. Double sink with a garbage disposal. Four toaster, like four toast toaster oven, a Keurig with lots of options, full size oven range and microwave, full size refrigerator and freezer with an ice maker. I'm wondering, is there, I don't see a water dispenser though. So we brought a, um, we brought a water filter with us, which is something we do during a lot of these stays. There's also like a dry bar over here with lots. And I thought this was unusual. I guess it's not unusual for a place that can sleep 12. Lots and lots of plates and bowls. Oh, there's nothing in here. But as with all the other DV, or as with all of the other DVCs, everything that you would need comes with this. So all of your bowls and plates and cups and mugs, anything that you would need, any sort of utensil or cooking utensil that you might need, a cheese grater should be available here. Oh, also there's a full size dishwasher. And there should be, yeah, some dish, dish soap down here and some dishwashing soap for use in the dishwasher down here as well. And Ceramabrite cooktop cleaner, two extra rolls of paper towels, very clean underneath here. I'm very, very impressed with this. Like I would live here. This is my style. It's all the space that I need. It's fantastic. The only, my only issue is that the living space is upstairs rather than the bedrooms, but I understand why they did that because there's more space downstairs than there is upstairs. So let's go out and look on the front patio upstairs. So this would be the sunset patio. 
So we should be able to see, where's the sun? The sunset would be like kind of over behind this building this time of year. I believe that's a totally different resort over there. This is another cottage just like what we're staying in. And yeah, the sea grapes kind of block our view to anything else. We can sort of see the pool. I don't know if the camera will focus on it because it's kind of back over there is where the pool is going to be. Some nice sun loungers out here. There's another table. So if you wanted to eat breakfast out here or dinner out here. Oh look, the sea turtles on the back of the chairs. Everything's all about sea turtles here. Let's go on the back patio upstairs. Oh, I love the detail on these lamps. It's like they have a net around them. So this is where I'll be tomorrow morning, early, early in the morning, watching the sunrise over top of the ocean. Somebody out there fishing. Looks like he's got something on his line. I wonder what he's pulling in. When we were at, we came through and like checked out the rooms before I filmed this, and this guy had caught a shark, like a little tiny shark. Oh, uh, caught something, caught a little fish. They looked disappointed in it. But yeah, so there is beach access down there by the front lobby. And we'll be out there maybe later it later today or tomorrow. Maybe go for a walk on the beach. The good news is there's lots of open beach space and not a lot of people on it. So we can have a lot of privacy. Like even if we walk just the distance down from the beach access down to where this cottage is, look right there, right there, there's plenty of space. I will say that there is not beach access from the cottage. There's just this wall of sea grape right here. So, and I believe that's to protect the sea turtles to kind of block off any light that you might create. So you'll see there are no lights out here because sea turtles use moonlight to try to find the ocean when they're born. So, this is beautiful, man. It just feels good being out on this patio in like with the ocean right there. Also, because the sun is past noon, it, the building's blocking it. So it's nice and cool out here. I could spend all evening out here just listening to the waves. Ooh, there's some more, some more beachy artwork over here next to the dining table. I wonder where these pictures were taken. I love this place. Let's have a look out on this back downstairs patio now. Oh, these are nice little chairs out here. Back patio is, is probably fantastic to have a cup of coffee on. There's not really a view because you're just kind of looking at the sea grapes, but definitely a good place to come out, have a cup of coffee, relax still have some privacy too because like even between the cottage next to us there's sea grapes out towards the beach there's sea grapes over in this direction there's sea grapes too so lots and lots of very very private back patio we'll say this though if it's raining you're not protected from the rain because it's just a deck above you so if it rains you don't have a patio to go out on same thing with the front patio in the front on the first floor not any coverage from any rain. All right, so now that Tim's all done with the tour of the beach cottage, I wanted to show you, we have Jackson in this first room. He's, there's a lot of space for his pack and play. Yeah. Whoa, did you close that door, bud? You did. Also, Jen noticed something that I didn't notice on the tour. Oh, you yeah. See, like, the, you okay, buddy? <laughs> Jackson, what's so funny? Just that the door opens and closes? I know, that's wild. Wild stuff. Um, wild, wild stuff. I mentioned that I really liked the drapes and the, um, what is this? Like the shade, I guess? It's like the colors of the ocean. It's beautiful. It's got a, a really nice gradient from a very, very dark kind of a teal color to a more pale teal color. It's 
Very pretty. And Jackson noticed something that I didn't notice on the floor either. What did Jackson notice? And that's that the ironing board is behind, is mounted to the back of the door in the laundry room. Oh, the ironing board is in the laundry room. Let's go look. You want to show them what, what you found? Okay, let's show them. Okay, so the laundry room. We're going to look behind the door of the laundry room. Oh yeah, there it is. The iron and the ironing board right there. I have to be honest though, I have never ever ironed on vacation, not once. Just, hi, hi buddy. It's just not something I do on vacation. I'm not a big ironer, especially not on vacation. I don't iron off vacation. <laughs> we did iron one time. We did what? Uh, it was for Jackson's birthday party. Remember we had to iron a tablecloth? Oh, yeah. That was the only time. Give me a joke. <laughs> Now that we are all set up and we got Jackson's bed all set up, we're going to go try to see if we can figure out something for dinner. Just want to have one last look at the outside of our cottage. And also, there's one other cottage to our right, and then that's the end of the property over here. But I was trying to see... I wonder what this was. Like, why is there a little extended pad here? Maybe it's for drainage? And then I think that this is another property. Almost looks like... You used to be able to walk out here to get to this sidewalk. Maybe that was another entrance to a beach or public access to a beach, or maybe that's access to the beach for the other property that's over there. Hey buddy. I was about to say it's such a quiet resort. And then I heard like the bass thumping from the party that's going on at the pool. It was like, ns, 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 ns. I mean, I can't wait to go to the pool. I'm excited. Yeah, it sounds fun over there. Coming up on another cottage over here. This one's called the Green Turtle Cottage. Jackson's like, oh, this is the one that we're staying in, right? No. <laughs> so and then the pool is straight ahead like, of us. Yeah, I was going to say, this 1475 might be the one to try to get because it's so close to the pool. Yeah, it's, and the beach access is just around the corner over here, too. Oh, there's another cottage that's even closer to the pool. It's literally right outside the front steps of it. And there's the mini golf, too. We're going to try to do the mini golf maybe tomorrow. It looks fun. Look at that. The steering wheel for a ship is spinning. You got to try to get it underneath there. Ooh, Jackson, you want to do that? Ooh, Jen! I know the slide. There's a water slide. I'm doing the slide. Yeah, you are. Did you bring the GoPro? Yeah. Okay, good. Also, there's a splash pad, too, I think, oh, for this there? buddy. Oh. Yeah. We got to do some exploring around the pool. That'll be tomorrow. Summer tomorrow activities. is like all beach, all pool, all day. Maybe mini golf. I can't wait. And also, hopefully, tie dye or whatever sort of crafty activity they oh, have. Yeah, I want to do I don't it. think it's tie dye. I think it's like decorating a tote bag, maybe. Oh, is it? I know they gave me a thing. We'll look at it like a calendar. Look at this leaf. Wow, that's a sea grape leaf, buddy. Oh, wow. Big red one. You lost your rock. Don't oh, no, don't rock. forget your rock. Oh, so many things to pick <laughs> up. So, this used to be an entrance to the pool, but it's blocked off by chairs because all of the chairs are separated out and you're not supposed to move any of the chairs because of physical distancing to keep them separated. So you can see these chairs are just kind of on a pathway here, whereas normally they would have been over here. Right, bud? Buddy, did you see the Mickey in the fence? He's like, no, I don't, I don't care. So we are just walking past the pool and right here is one of the beach entrances and it's so neat looking because it's like a tunnel through the sea grape. And I believe there's another beach entrance over there. So I think the place that we're going to order our food from is Wind and Waves Bar because the sit-down restaurant is called Wind and Waves Inside. But there is also like the grab-and-go over there quick service. Oh, they have, uh, what do you call this, like beanbag toss? Or cornhole? More hammocks. Do you like it, buddy? Is that cool? Not a fan? No. Oh, it's too sandy. Oh, he doesn't he like the, the sand. sand He's he like, got... no, get, get oh, rid no. of the sand. Also, he got so excited picking up leaves and running around. That was all drool underneath his chin there. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think he handed you like 20 leaves. Yeah. You going oh, back no. in the sand, buddy? Oh, oh no, he wants to go up on a step. No, 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 come on. This way. We're going this Ooh, way. Ooh, look at you. Did you find another? Oh, those are tiny rocks, buddy. I don't know if you can pick up any of those rocks. Come on, bud. I like that their beanbag toss has a picture of Vero Beach on it. They're like, this is a picture of where you're staying. Throw beanbags at it. <laughs> Come, Come on, on, bud. I didn't look at the schedule for tonight or for this week, but they do have movies on the lawn out here on this gigantic lawn right here. Ooh, this, there's like a breeze that picked up and it feels so good right now, right here. Ooh, that breeze right now. I can't wait to hang out on our patio overlooking the ocean tonight. Yeah. Like, that's why I talked about that during the tour because it was so nice because it's in the shade too. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. 
right next to where the beanbag toss is, is the entrance to Wind and Waves Grill, which I think there's also an entrance from inside down this hallway, because this is the front lobby right here. And that's where we're gonna go inside. Up these stairs, there's a bar up there too. You see this big lawn, buddy? You're gonna be so worn out tonight. All right, bud, let's go inside and have a look at the front lobby. So, as of right now, masks are not required outside, but they are required inside. So, guests two and over are required to wear face coverings. Also, same rules as Disney. Can't wear neck gaiters, no open, open chin triangle bandanas, face covers with valves, mesh, or holes of any kind, or costume masks. Here we are. Here is the main lobby. It's very tall. We talked to somebody out by the pool and they said that the layout for the rooms here is very similar to Old Key West because this is the same floor plans as Old Key West. Oh, okay. So we'll put a link to the Old Key West video in the description down below so you can see what some of the other rooms look like. Ooh, there's a cruise ship over here. Yeah, which one is it? It's the Disney Dream. There's a little model of the Disney Dream. Ooh. I wish they would sell these. I'd buy a little model of the Disney Dream. Right? Well, we cool. haven't, we haven't, we, don't, we haven't done the dream. No. We've only been on the magic. That's true. So we'd have to get the magic. Okay. Or... We've been on... I've done a tour. You did a tour of the fantasy. Yeah. Or was it the wonder? It was the fantasy. Was it? Okay. I think. But, but we did just book our, our cruise for the wish. Ooh, surprise! Oh, did you not tell them? I haven't told them yet, no. Oh, surprise! Surprise! Oh We're okay. going to sail on the wish next year. <laughs> oh, look! What is this? Can we sign a shell and leave it here? Oh. I think we can. Oh is it gosh. just like a shell that you find on the beach? We should do that. We're doing that. I'm gonna go ask about it. That's gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna go ask. Look at these old, these are old uh, like labels for citrus packaging. And these are all very close because we passed by Jungle River on the way here. Oh, they have pressed pennies too. You can get, oh, this is a pressed quarter. Ooh, okay, with crush and squirt. And then you can get a Vero Beach pressed penny or Mickey with a surfboard or just plain old Mickey. What is this adult beverage experiences? $45 a person every day in the green cabin room, which is the bar that's upstairs above us right now. So today is Wednesday. From four to five, they did a pirate rum adventure. Oh, interesting. Enjoy an hour of adult time. We'll mix up three beverages with themed liquors of the day. And there's even a tasty snack. Whoa. So we asked the front desk, they said we could just pick up any shell from the ocean and they have the pen up at the front desk and we can sign it and leave it here. And then when these get full, they recycle them. They might put them out on the walk out front or some of them just go back into the ocean. Yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna find a shell and we're gonna put our shell in there. Yeah. Right, bud? We'll let He's like, he wants to run. Come here. Also, there is a gift shop over here called the Island Grove Packing Company. Oh, you can put them over here too. There's more spots to put shells. I wonder who started this. It's a great tradition. These are all fairly new. too, like 2021. This one's 2020. Ooh, yeah, we're doing it. Another thing. Beach here. They do. Okay, we gotta get some. Yeah, we can get a shirt. There's one straight ahead of us, but also they have Ulu Mel. Oh, do they? Yeah. Hello. Lots of oranges. Because the theming is the packing company. Yeah, here's like, whoa, look at this DVC cable net sweater spirit jersey. How fun is that? It's like a DVC club knives out spirit jersey. How much is this? $90. Ooh, some theming here. It's like the back of a truck. Also, these are all of the movies that they have available for rent. Because like I said, there is a DVD player in the room. We can get 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea or The Ugly Dachshund. The cast member said you can pick out two per night and it's free for everybody. Oh, okay. It's kind of a pretty big, yeah. you can get the Bridget Jones Diary. They are also still doing pin trading here, but it's very similar to at the parks where you 
drop your pins in and then you tell a cast member which pins you would like and you can trade up to two. They also have uh, essentials here in case you forgot them like, oh my goodness, look Jen. What? Is it baby shampoo? It's, it's baby oil. oil. Oh, oh, I thought it was baby shampoo. <laughs> Dang. Close. Maybe they have it somewhere though, you never know. Lots and lots of stuff though. They do have a kid's toothbrush. New? I'm not seeing any kids shampoo though like baby shampoo. We brought it, but I wanted to check and see if they had it. I feel like that's our staple thing to look for now because we always forget it. Right? Are these ears new? They look pretty new. I've never seen never these. Never seen them. Yeah. Okay. Sparkly, right buddy? They're very sparkly. Those are ears. So the adult beverage experience is at the green cabin room, which is upstairs in the lobby. So you have to like head over here on this side, go up these stairs and you go in there. I think we'll have a look at that a little bit later, we have to get Jackson some food and it's getting close to his bedtime too. All right, so we kind of hit that time where Jackson's bedtime is quick approaching. <laughs> yeah. We need to get him some food. So we just went to the grab and go quick service and got him some penne and meatballs and some carrots. Ooh, you want to have a little carrot, buddy? Ooh, let's see. He's like, no. I think we do. I think we want to have a carrot. What do you think? Are they pretty soft? They look pretty soft. Yeah, they are very soft. Yeah, okay. We'll but sure we're then. sitting out on the the upstairs deck. You don't like the carrot? You don't like the carrot? He goes, no. Oh, he does. Like okay. Carrot. This is honestly like, I love this. Yeah, this is where it's at. <laughs> the zip is beautiful. It's high tide. The, the ocean has calmed down from the day. It's actually looking kind of clear. I think tomorrow I might be able to go out with the GoPro and just kind of like swim around. See if we can see maybe a turtle, maybe a shark. Might see something, you never know. Very, very excited to go swimming out there tomorrow. It is officially that time. It's bedtime. It's bedtime, bud. So while you are getting him all ready for bed, he just had his bath, got his teeth brushed and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go order the food and I still have to get today's video up. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna go get that up. I'm gonna order the food and you'll see us in just a second with some food. All right, good night, babes. Good night, Moon. Good night, little bud. Don't worry, you got all the kisses and the hugs. All right, so there is our little cottage behind me there, and I am headed over to the Wind and Waves Grill to get some dinner to go, but actually the dinner to go you get from the bar by the pool. So I'm headed over to the bar by the pool to get some to-go dinner so we can eat it out on our balcony. And then they did give me this menu to check out. This is their like daily specials menu. Looks pretty darn delicious. But they also have, don't mind all the crumpled parts, sorry, that's my fault. They also have the, just the regular dinner menu with the starters, the daily specials, the sea, like the seafood, and of course the, the land specials. So like the chicken and the beef and all that. Um, sorry, I'm walking so it's a little shaky but everything looks really good. Oh, you know, just your typical day sitting out here looking at the waves coming in and my goodness, look at that sunset. This is amazing. I'm a, it's, it's, I have the, the exposure a little bit high, so I'm gonna bring it down for you guys to what we're seeing. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. But as it gets darker, ooh yeah, it's real nice. Oh. This isn't even the sunset deck. We should go out in front and see the sunset. Oh, really? Yeah, this, because the sunset's oh, over the sun. there. This is the sunrise deck. I'm gonna have to get up early. Yeah, you're getting up real early. The sun <laughs> rises ridiculously early. I'm gonna do it. Like it's bright by 6.30. Really? Yeah. What time do I have to get up? I'm gonna get up at like 5.45. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Pinky swear. POV, me pinky swearing that we're gonna get up for a sunset together. I mean, a sunrise together. Okay, I'm gonna put in the clip of you still sleeping. <laughs> or you're gonna put it in right now. So it did feel like it looked nicer on the back patio, but this still, there's some like wisps of cotton candy around here. I love all the foliage. Oh yeah. Like it just looks so lush. And what's that over there? Like is that another place? I think that's a different place, yeah. Oh, okay. I was talking with them earlier because there's like a, the path just kind of ends right there. Okay. And I, I think it's a different, like a different unit, a different resort. I'm sure we could look on a map and find out, but right. we yeah. just looking at the sunset right now. Look at it. This is what we call cotton candy. I love this. It's so nice. I think you're right. I think the view out the back was better 
Look at this. It's so beautiful. All right, so I got the filet, which was one of their specials for tonight. It was their like butcher special. It had some truffle risotto and some broccolini, and then just very basic, but it, it just sounded good to me. So I was like, I'll get the filet tonight. But then Tim got this, of course he got the burger, but it's a really cool burger. Yeah, it's meant to look like a turtle. Yeah, so they were telling me that the buns are special here because they have something, I forget what he said exactly, but like this, it's supposed to look like a little turtle on top. And then this has a pork belly and I don't know what the fried thing is. An onion ring it's maybe? An onion ring, yeah. Okay. Then there's some slaw and some kind of special cheese oh. and french fries. Oh God, so heavy. These plates are so heavy. And then we also got the arancini, which was a an appetizer special tonight. And it's just got some Parmesan and I think red pepper on the inside. So here's our dinner. Honestly, better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. And we have breakfast at this. This came from Wind and Waves. And mm -hmm. We have breakfast at Wind and Waves tomorrow. So the only the only downside to staying here like at this point in time is that not all of the dining locations are open. So we don't have a lot of choices as far as I think we talked about this, like the character dining isn't open. So I think that the dining is going to be a little bit repetitive on this stay, but it's a short stay, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. So I cut into my steak and I wanted to give you a look at it. It is I asked for it to be cooked medium. It's like pretty close to medium. The flavor is really nice. I will say that the truffle risotto tastes a lot like rosemary, which I'm not like a super huge fan of rosemary. It's not terrible, but it's just very rosemary heavy. And then I wanted to show you the inside of the arancini. So it does have just like little pieces of red pepper in it and uh, cheese and of course rice, but it's also served with some marinara. Here's a cross section of your burger. What, what did you say oh, about? That's like the bacon jam. I think it's, I think it's pork jam? belly. Yeah. Oh, it looks really good. It looks huge. I was about to say it looks small. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, you have to let us know what you think about it. Okay. We'll do. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's got like the, the jam adds like a sweet flavor to the salty burger and the salty uh, onion ring. I don't really taste the slaw yet. Mm. But it's good. This Would you is, order it again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Pretty tasty. <laughs> okay. And there you have it. Tim's Burger Review. Tim's Burger Review. Tim's Burger Review. Pretty tasty. All right. So it's uh, about 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We have to go to bed now because we're going to wake up and see the sunrise. Yes. You've said so. <laughs> so uh, we have to wake up at 545. Mm-hmm. Get the GoPro ready and everything like that. Put it out on the balcony so we can see the sunrise. Right. So we have to go to bed. Yeah. Plus, I feel like when we're at the beach, I just feel like I get tired earlier. It's true. It's just so... I'm just like, I, I could go to sleep right now, you know? I think it's... Because you can kind of hear the ocean noises inside. Yeah. And I think that just really gets you ready for sleep. It does. Yeah. Promotes sleep. It does. This place is great so far. We haven't even done anything and I'm like well, in love with this resort. We also, we liked it so much that we talked to the, did you tell them? No. Oh, okay. We talked to the front desk to see if we could extend our stay because we have kind of a short stay. So we're like, oh, maybe we can just like stay for one more day. Let's see. Uh, but they're totally sold out. Right. So we were sad. They said we could move to like a, a one bedroom or something like that if we wanted to. But I feel like. I think what I like is this location because yeah. we're just right on the water yeah so although i feel like the other like the other rooms are probably really nice and and everything i just really want to be like where we are yeah like on the water yeah so i think we are just going to leave on friday like our original plan was but we tried we did try <laughs> so like i said fantastic resort mm -hmm. i really like the food was good the atmosphere is great yeah i can't wait to go into the pool and go out to the beach tomorrow yeah tomorrow's our exciting day yeah we have so, so much stuff planned stay tuned mm -hmm. so with that being said we're off we'll see you all tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price